So I did say in a prior video that I did not make a video talking about the Bruce Cassidy firing by the Boston Bruins, mostly because I wanted to educate myself a little bit more before diving into that topic. And quite frankly, in my opinion, making videos about coaches getting fired is not really the most fun thing to do. Like, there are other topics that I think are a lot more explorable and interesting. But when it comes to this Cassidy thing, holy, did we see ourselves a media interview availability yesterday from Cassidy himself that wasn't sparked by anybody on the Bruins or whatever. He individually did this via Zoom that kind of shed some light in a very interesting way on the Boston Bruins and how they handled this confrontation. So Bruce Cassidy, as we were all familiar with, was the coach of the Boston Bruins. He had been the coach of this team for a while. And I think a lot of people would go out there and say that Cassidy had a pretty good reputation in the media, and that reputation was also there as the head coach of Boston. He was the coach of this team ever since 2016-17, where they made the playoffs every single year he had been there. They lost in the Stanley Cup Finals in 2019, they lost in the second round three out of the six years that he had been there, and then the final two years, the first year in 2017, as well as in the recent year, 2022, they had lost in the first round. The Boston Bruins had a pretty good amount of success under Bruce Cassidy. However, you could definitely debate that the Bruins themselves did not give Cassidy the best hand. Losing out on guys like David Krejci, not really finding a second-line center to replace that player, you have yourselves the departure of Patrice Bergeron potentially, and the lack of real youth coming into the Boston Bruins over the years, all formulating this idea that the Boston Bruins weren't really setting Cassidy up to succeed. This team was getting older, and now, with these rumors talking about David Pasternak and how he might want out, things could potentially get even worse. And so, when the Boston Bruins fired Cassidy a few days ago, a lot of people were kind of surprised. Hey, this team had 51 wins in the regular season in 82 games. They were a 100-point team. They had been a 100-point team for most of the entire time Cassidy was here. And a first-round exit to the Carolina Hurricanes is what does it? That's it? He's done? What the heck is going on here? And so yesterday, as I said earlier on off the top of the show, we had ourselves a media interview that Cassidy did with some of the media members in Boston. It wasn't prompted by the Bruins. They weren't standing in front of the Boston TD little background that they have. It wasn't in the arena. It was just via Zoom. It was, hey, Bruce Cassidy saying, I want to talk to you guys. Let's have a conversation about my time here in Boston. And there were a few things that were said that paint the Bruins in a very negative light, in my opinion. Here's Joe McDonald on Twitter. Cassidy was told he was safe during his season-ending exit meeting with upper management two weeks ago. Now, Cassidy himself did not say that during the media availability. This was something that Joe McDonald actually heard previously. To add even more fuel to the fire, here's Joe Haggerty saying the same thing from earlier yesterday. Don Sweeney went to Bruce Cassidy's house on Monday to tell him that he had been fired. Prior to that, though, Cassidy said he had been told at exit meetings from two weeks ago he would be coaching in the final year of his contract. Totally understandable why he would be pissed upon hearing that news. And so let's get this straight right here, just in case you hadn't been paying attention. Two weeks ago, the Bruins told Cassidy, you're good. We will keep you here. You will coach into the final year of your contract. And two weeks later, Sweeney himself went to Cassidy's house to tell him that he had been fired. What the hell? You have this article on NHLTradeTalk.com that summarizes it pretty nicely. Bruce Cassidy was lied to by the Bruins about his job security just two weeks ago. Don Sweeney admitted that Cassidy was very upset to learn he was being fired. What Sweeney said back then, though, was that it could be because the coach was told his job was safe. This article then goes into some of the accolades. The Bruins won 245 games after hiring Bruce Cassidy, the third most in the NHL in that span. It was a surprise to many to hear that he had been terminated earlier this week, especially since the team continued to make the playoffs and do so in a conference where they didn't necessarily stack up personnel-wise. They made the playoffs all six years he was the coach. In a meeting with the media today, so yesterday, this article was published the other day, Cassidy said, I feel like I did my job. He also noted he wants to coach in the NHL next season and has no desire to sit out. He says that multiple teams have already reached out about head coaching jobs. I want to get back to work. Hopefully, it's a really good fit for both sides. Now, this little part was mentioned at the end of the article here, but this is what Jimmy Murphy, Murphy's Lost 74 on Twitter, said about the firing. This is just my opinion, I could be wrong, based on all that he has learned via Bruce Cassidy just now and other sources. 
Cassidy, according to Jamie Murphy, got railroaded by Cam Neely. Sweeney fought to keep Cassidy as the Bruins head coach after Neely's end-of-season comments, but Neely said no. Now, Cam Neely is the president of the Bruins, Don Sweeney is the GM, Cassidy was the former head coach, so that's kind of how the hierarchy goes along here. And what I've really learned upon seeing this information is that a lot of Bruins fans, apparently, just according to what I've seen, don't really have the best fate in Neely nor Sweeney to build this team into the future based off of what they had been seeing over the past few years. As we said, prospects, not really the best. The acquisitions, sure, Taylor Hall's a good one, but you still need a second-line center. This team is sort of getting worse with the departure of Krug and Krejci and potentially Bergeron. And now you have Cassidy, a guy that's been pretty good at the NHL level when it comes to coaching this Bruins team, getting fired probably due to, what, a lack of faith in his ability? I really don't know. I said this before. I don't really know what the answer is here when they say, okay, we're going to fire Cassidy and bring somebody else in. Is bringing somebody else in going to make the team better? I don't know. But you go over to the Boston Bruins subreddit, this is a post from yesterday, it talks about all of the stuff that Bruce Cassidy said during his exit press conference, all in one post from yesterday. So big shout out to Abby Terrar, who posted this, shout out as well to Ty Anderson and Connor Ryan. Bruce Cassidy had a few quotes here that a lot of Bruins fans went out there and resonated with, starting out with this one, I don't think you have too much of a team if players are not held accountable. And that was one of the things that made Cassidy such a competent coach at the NHL level was that he was a very big believer in accountability for his players. He said that the Bruin in me is basically tattooed. That's the difficult part. I feel like I did my job. We can always get better. We can always be better. 2019 still bothers me to this day. And do I still want to be in Boston? Yeah. He also said that he will coach next season if any team comes calling. That is what he does. He doesn't know if he is really the scapegoat here for the Bruins. You guys, the media, will have to determine that. He also said some pretty interesting things about Don Sweeney and the way that this entire process was handled. On his exit meeting with the Bruins front office, he said, I was told it would be the status quo. In my next challenge, I'll make sure that I'm mindful of the messaging. Because I respect Donnie when he talks to me about what you need to do to be better, he's been in the game a long time, so that's something I'll definitely have to take with me to do the next job. He also says that he does not think there was a breakdown in communication when it comes to his dynamic with Sweeney either, which makes things all the more interesting when you acknowledge this idea that apparently the Bruins lied to him about his job security, saying two weeks ago that he's fine, they'll let him coach, and then going to his house to tell him that he's fired. I will say, if the entire thing about this is actually 100% accurate, then good on Bruce Cassidy for going out there to the media and not completely throwing them under the bus. Obviously, I'm not an NHL coach, and I'm not somebody who is in this level of status in the social hierarchy like Bruce Cassidy is, but I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way feeling like this, learning that a person was lied to about his job security only to be fired a few weeks later. And you could debate that the firing doesn't even really make sense. So... I don't know what to think here. You can let me know in the comments all your thoughts and opinions about the Bruins and apparently how they treated Cassidy towards the end of his tenure as the head coach. They will not be letting him coach into the final year of his contract because they fired him, despite apparently telling him earlier that they would be doing so. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about that entire thing. Talk to me as well about the way the Bruins are progressing in their direction here. What do you think is next with this team? If David Pasternak all of a sudden demands a trade, like we have been seeing rumors popping up, he might. What do you think the future will hold for this gosh darn team? Because at this moment, I really do not know. But yeah, any thoughts, any opinions, Bruce Cassidy, the coaching, the drafting, the prospects, the team, the chemistry, etc.? Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.